In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run a GitHub Actions workflow on a schedule. It's fairly simple. Um, as you can see here, I have a very quick tutorial on how to do it. Um, if you're just looking for a copy paste, I've linked to the tutorial down uh, in the description below. If not, in the video today, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, we're gonna set up a GitHub repository. We're gonna uh, add our schedule to it, uh, add the workflow, um, and then we're gonna add a timer that's for it to be triggered. I just head over to github.com slash new. I'm just gonna create a new project called demo github um, action schedule. You may also hear it as a cron job. It's just another way to say it. Um, I'm gonna make mine private just because it's a small demo. I don't need to um, share it. So I'm just gonna hit create. Um, I'm gonna do, so okay, got it, thank you. Um, I'm gonna clone my project here. So I'm just gonna open up a new terminal window. I'm gonna switch over to my desktop. I'm gonna go get clone. And then I'm gonna do demo, CD into demo, into my project essentially. Um, so I'm gonna use Atom here just to open up the project so I can copy paste this into a actual folder. Uh, you can use the GitHub UI to do all this as well. And so I'm gonna add a readme just so you can see my project called demo i'm gonna save it i'm gonna create a new folder called dot github and then inside of that i'm gonna call the new folder called workflows and i'm gonna start a new uh, workflow called main.yaml and i'm gonna go back to my tutorial here and copy paste all of it in here uh let me find my atom again paste it in there. So essentially what I'm gonna say is on the push to master, which is my main branch, um, I should really rename it to be main, but on, on the push to master or on a schedule, and right now this is saying um, at eight o'clock, I think on the first of the month, uh, run my schedule, let me just double check that. Yeah, yeah the first of the month at 8 a.m. Uh, it will run my workflow. So either one, the push or the schedule. Uh, this is nice if you, I want to just make sure you con are consistently deploying your work. Um, it's a great way, you know, if you, I have a couple of the tutorials on um, scanning for vulnerabilities and things like that. So if you have a project and Dependabot is another great option um, that is just, you want to run so that you can scan for vulnerabilities. Um, this is a great way to do it. Um, it's going to essentially, I'm running on Ubuntu. Steps are check out the code and then just echo running. Uh, it's fairly simple. So let's head over to this, back to this, the tutorial. I'm just gonna use a cron schedule builder. Um, any really work, this one's fantastic in terms of um, simplicity. I'm just gonna put a command in here so you can see what I'm... Uh, okay, so let's talk about what, what I want to do. Um, I'm, I actually only wanted to run, let's say right now it's Saturday at 11.39 Eastern Standard Time. So uh, first we have to figure out what time it is UTC because the servers are often run on universal UTC, coordinated universal time. So it's 4.39 p.m. UTC. Uh, so I'm gonna say, I want to run on weekend days, or I'm gonna say Saturday only. Every month I want to run um, every minute. No, I don't want it to run every minute. I want it to run at uh, 40, what time is it? 40 right now, so I'm gonna say 41, just so I can get this up by then. And I want to run at, I said it was 4 p.m. Uh, very, very specific on stage gen right now. So today is March 13th at 4.41 UTC. It's gonna run and here's my command. So you can see I have, and then six is the Saturday. So I'm gonna just copy paste this in here. And then I'm gonna commit this up just before my time here. So it's gonna run right now because of the push to master. Let's head back to my demo here. I'm just gonna refresh the page. I should have my readme, the workflow. And if I go to actions, it ran because of a push by me. And hopefully that made it in there.
Okay, so uh, it's 4 40, uh, 11 41. I don't find the GitHub schedule to be perfect. Um, I once saw someone use the cron, like the scheduler for action as a way to monitor their website to see if it was live. This is complete um, bad use of actions because um, they always talk about having issues on the GitHub Twitter page in terms of their status. So don't, I feel like that's just an over abuse of uh, a free service like actions, but let's just leave this. I don't know if I, if I was too slow on that one. You know, let's just run it every five minutes because I can't really, it's, it's gonna be hard to time with. So I'll just say every five minutes, every hour, every day, uh, every weekday. And so this becomes a much simpler command. So I'm just gonna hit generate again. And it's just like, every five minutes. Yeah, and they give you examples. So 45, 50. Changes to be like this. It's going to be updated schedule. Actually, before I commit that in, I'm just going to just so I know that which schedule is running, I'm just put it number two there. So I can add that to my commit as well. Now I'm just gonna commit them both up to master. So that was just git add all, git commit with my message and git push. Head back over to my actions change. Okay, so you can see the, the commit push came up. Um, every five minutes and now it's gonna say running two. So let's just leave that. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna edit the video until I actually cross over the time um, so you can see the schedule. As mentioned, my job just fin fin finally ran. Um, I had set it to five every five minutes, or as, you, as you noticed. Um, it's now 12.19, so I started this at 11.43. I actually did, did a whole another video. Um, in the meantime, um, it just ran. Um, so if you look at my screen here, uh, it ran one minute ago. So I, it took 37 minutes to pick up the job. Um, if you read through the GitHub community a little bit about this, they guarantee no time. If it's five minutes is too much. Um, and I understand that. Like I'm not actually trying to run this every five minutes. I just want a demo um, running on a schedule. And the easiest thing to do was hopefully run in time, um, but it didn't work. So that's why I'm copying and pasting these together. So if your schedule doesn't run right away, it doesn't mean like you should be concerned. You should just set it to whatever you actually want. And then you might have to be patient um, anyways, that's, so that's how you run GitHub Actions on a schedule. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.